Hello everyone. So this is just a short video in which I want to share, um, I guess, a good setup for your Chrome and Chromium browser to browse the web in a secure and very sensible uh, way. Um, so the, the, the whole thinking for me started when I was kind of looking into ad block solutions. Uh, especially focusing on social or, so to say, fair ad block solutions. My reasoning was that um, while ads are really annoying, generally on the web, they can also provide a source of income um, to initiatives that I want to support. So, um, th th I mean, there are websites, news portals, or you know, platforms that, in whatever way, contribute to an alternative or to strengthening the alternative system and to facilitating the sustainability transition, um, which is a field that I'm really um, well passionate about. So, I I thought like I don't want to generally block ads on all pages because then like also these pages these platforms would not gain any income and therefore i was looking into fair ad block solutions and there's a couple of them like stands or fair ad block um, but the point i got to was a very interesting um, conversation that i had on on reddit and a user on Reddit shared um, some resources with me, basically meant stating that adblock is not only annoying, but it comes with two major negative side effects. The first one being tracking, that ads are used to track you and your behavior online, which is something that I generally don't want. And second, and probably even worse, ads are used to to transport and to infect your system with malware, so with viruses, etc., and that's definitely something I don't want to support. So, my my current stand on on ad block and on on ads in general is that yes, I want to block all ads, and for the platforms that create positive impact for a sustainable world. I need and want to find different ways and solutions of supporting them. For example, micro donations, PayPal, whatever they have to support them. So as mentioned before, I'm a Chromium user, which is the open source project behind Chrome. And I investigated the bare minimum that is needed to secure yourself using this browser. And there's basically four things you have to do. First of all, you install uBlock Origin. It's an open source ad blocker. The defaults are generally great. You don't have to customize anything. Um, just, you know, if a website doesn't work, just make sure that you disable the extension for this particular website. Second one, install HTTPS everywhere. It's another extension for Chrome and Chromium, which basically forces any kind of website to be displayed and to be transported to you, transferred to you using the secure HTTPS protocol. You know, that's always like the thing that you see in green, um, which means that the data coming to you is secured and cannot be viewed by anyone else, which is not the case for the standard HTTP without the S. So that's the second one. Just install it, you know, you don't have to customize it. It will work out of the box, I guess. Let me, let me just check once, once again. Did I customize it? Manage? I don't think I managed it. No, it just works out of the box. You don't have to do anything. Then there is the third extension that you should install which is another open source project by the um, EEF, which is the 
Electronic Frontier Foundation and it's called Privacy Badger. And Privacy Badger basically, um, well, blocks all third party requests as far as I understood it. And um, like things like cookies, etc. And um, this is something that you block as far as I understood from the conversation on Reddit does not block by default. And Privacy Badger is a very easy out of the box solution um, to supplement this lag. All right, so coming with these three extensions, uBlock Origin, HTTPS Everywhere, Privacy Badger, which are all open source. I hope that's the case for HTTPS Everywhere too. Oh, it's, as you can see by the link in the bottom left, it's also an, EE, an EFF, Ele Electronic Frontier Foundation project. So it's another open source project on GitHub. All right, that's good. So besides these three extensions, there's just one thing you can, and probably, I mean, you can experiment with it because I had some issues with it, um, which is a, a Chrome internal setting. So you go to Chrome settings content and for the cookies, you can tick this checkbox saying block third party cookies and site data. Um, this is to ensure that like really all third party cookies cookies are blocked and um, not used in your browser. You confirm this one and you should be fine. These four things, as far as I understood, can make your browsing experience way more secure. And remember, if you find an initiative, a platform that you find worth supporting, don't go for the ad way, but just like find a way to send that donations or you know gratitude and appreciation by any kind of way. That's it from my side. If you have any questions, just comment and I you know try to help as much as I can. Thank you guys. Bye bye.